Good morning, viewers. It is 7.23 a.m. And welcome back to the Tobago Updates Morning Show. Coming to you here live from the Port Mall in Scarborough, Tobago. Yes, viewers, it's Tuesday. It is Easter Tuesday. And this morning, we get the conversation started. Uh, we're talking library services. We have the opportunity this morning to speak with Anishal Dinoon, a manager of the Tobago Library Services, and Kimberly Job, public relations and marketing assistant of the Tobago Library Services. As we speak, the Division of Education Research and Technology, Tobago Library Services. Don't worry, don't get confused. They're going to explain it all to us. You're saying you're here in the division, you're hearing library services, you're wondering if they're connected any at all. Good morning and welcome, ladies. Good morning. Hi, good morning, good morning to you and good morning to Tobago morning. and all your viewers. Yes, and as we get the conversation started this morning, let me start with you, Michelle Dino. Sure. As the, you know, they say heavy is the head that wears the crown. <laughs> Uh, as we get started this morning, having responsibility for the Tobago Library Services, just give us a better idea of that understanding with the connection with NALIS as well as with the Division oh, of Education. Certainly. Um, Tobago Library Services, as you just said, is under the purview of the Division of Education, Research and Technology. Um, the um, responsibility of Tobago Library Services has to do with the management and the delivery of library and information services in public libraries, school libraries, institutional libraries, and community libraries. We are also responsible for the Tobago Archives, which is located at the Scarborough Library. Now, you mentioned Alice and you mentioned, right, so let me clear that up. Now, the legal authority for Tobago Library Services reside both with the Tobago House of Assembly as well as NALIS, National Library and Information System Authority. Um, now, in the fifth schedule of the Act number, um, 40 of 1996 list library services as one of the responsibilities of the Tobago House of Assembly. Um, in Act number 18 of 1998, NALIS also have responsibility for the administration of library and information study, um, services to Trinidad and Tobago. So because of that anomaly, there was a memorandum of understanding which was signed in 2015, and that memorandum of, of understanding outlined roles and responsibilities of both entities, both the THG and NALIS in the ensuring the efficient delivery of library and, inf and um, information services to the people of Tobago. Excellent. And you know, as, as you speak to that, let me pull in public relations here, uh, Kimberly. Um, first, the chat just a little bit. The, that, that, that perception and that outlook out there in terms of the importance of the library services, how would you describe it from where you sit as public relations? Um, you know, before I was you know, enroll in this position. Sometimes the perception of the library is, you know, is just there. But people sometimes don't understand the importance that the library plays, especially in the development of the, um, various communities in any country, you know. So um, the, the amount of services that the library offers to the public, you know, it, it, it ensures persons to, um, persons who went around years ago, you want to learn about stuff that happened years ago, you go to the library. Different services that are offered, you know, um, adds to the, the overall development of citizens in the in Tobago and on the island. Mm -hmm. Nisha, I'd like you to tell us a little bit about the, the those those sections that are represented. You know, very often um, we, we people make the, the comparison now and say, oh, we got online um, and we got Google, so we probably don't need the um, don't need the library anymore. I want you to tell us a little bit about some of those hands-on services. I have enjoyed the beauty of the years. Um, shout out this morning to Michelle Daly uh, mm -hmm. and the likes. Um, even you, uh, Michelle Dinoon, coming in there and, and being lost and not sure where to turn and getting that kind of support uh, in terms of being able to find your way in terms of research and so on. Just give us a, some insight into the services offered. Right. So um, you mentioned something there in terms of library and the invent of technology and so on. For a very long time, persons had this pronouncement that libraries would, would die in a few years. Um, but in fact, with technology, with the advancement of technology, libraries have in fact evolved. Because we serve people, we meet people's needs, once technology evolves, you find that people require a different way of accessing their information. And so libraries have to be on board. We have to understand the trends so that our services, our offerings must suit or must be relevant to those needs that persons would have expressed. So over the years, yes, we have the introduction of technology. And you find that um, instead of persons having to come in to 
access our services because we have a library of over libraries of over 120,000 titles in our collection in the public libraries that is but persons are not restricted just to those resources we have thousands of titles online that persons can access via our website tls.gov.tt as well as the NALIS website so you have online you have um, ebooks on overdrive we have epsco host you have all of that and persons are able to access those resources free of charge of course persons can also come into our libraries we have our three public libraries scarborough roxborough charlotteville and i must add that we also have libraries in the schools we have libraries in the nine secondary schools and Tobago Library Services also provide support to some of the primary schools on the island, right? So persons who come into our spaces, we treat with persons of various age groups. You have the very little ones, the, the toddlers, right up to the seniors. We have services catering to the needs of all those age groups. So we tend to say whosoever will may come. We have services to meet your need. You, 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 you make me smile. It takes me right back to my Scarborough Sec. <laughs> my Scarborough Sec days. Uh, tell us, Tisha, now as we come forward here today, we are speaking to an anniversary celebration for the library. I want you to give us first the historic perspective, mm -hmm. and then we're going to run on into the activities uh, that are set up for this year's celebration. Right. So the 26th of April, um, we celebrate 75 years of public library service to Tobago. Um, now, before, just around 1948, when we started, we offered a subscription type service in that persons who came to access our services, they were required to pay because government funding was not available at that time. Libraries ran on grants and whatever uh, money that um, was generated from the subscription service. Um, so we have moved from that to 75 years onwards. And let me give you an idea of what would have taken place. At the time in 1948, you found that libraries served as repositories. So you had knowledge, you have your collection on the shelves and the librarians, they were really custodians. So they had a very passive approach to the delivery of library services. And then we would have moved on to that. So we've come from there where librarians served as custodians to where librarians are actually actively involved in providing not just library services, but information services to patrons. They're actually going out, they're assessing the community within which they operate to find out what are the needs of people so that they can appropriately address those needs. Um, when you look at our collection, now 75 years of, uh, ago, we had just a few books and only those persons who were literate, those persons who maybe did heavy research and so on, those were the ones who came into the library spaces. Now, anybody can come into our spaces, even the person who can't really read those who are not literate, they can come, they can take a book, even if it means looking at a picture or looking at a, a, a video, whatever, they can come and they can, the library provide for those persons. We have in our um, spaces, our self-check service so that persons are not reliant on librarians to check out materials to them. They can come in and go to the self-check machines and check out items on their own. We also have our automated book machines. Before persons had to come into the library and deposit the book for it to be checked in. Now, at any time, we offer 24-7 service. Persons can come to the library, Scarborough Library in particular, and return the return their items to the, you know, to the machine and it is placed back on the shelf. Quite good. It sounds as though I might even be getting ticketed if I run over my time via email <laughs> in, in, in real time. And, and certainly because I remember when I was young, once I, the book was overdue, I received a notice in the mail yes. that the book was overdue. Now you receive notice even before the book become overdue. You receive a notice saying in three days your book will become overdue. So you need to return the book and then you get subsequent notices you know, after the day would have passed. All right. Uh, Kimberly, tell us a little bit about some of the specific activities that will be happening uh, for the celebration period this year, the anniversary celebration. All right. So the, the anniversary celebration, it's a week of activities beginning Monday, 24th um, April, right? Um, we kick off the week with an open night night, which will be taking place at the Scarborough Amphitheater from 6 p.m. And it's open to the public, anybody that wants to take part, you know, you can come 
and showcase your various talents, whether it be poetry, um, dance, singing. You come and you, you perform for us and we're having a, an evening of, you know, showcasing everybody's talents and so on. And um, the registration has been open for persons to register. Um, it's online. You just visit the Tobago Library Services page. You click the link on Facebook and, you know, you register. We have had, you know, so many persons come forward um, to register already. So, you know, just to the public, hurry up and, and register so you can be a part of this very wonderful evening. Right, so that's Monday. We t move on to Tuesday, the 25th, right? So we're having a commemorative walk slash run. And that begins at 5 a.m. So, you know, we have to get up early in the morning and come out to Scarborough to, to begin that walk. Um, some persons may not know that the Scarborough Library, it did not be, you know, the first Scarborough Library was not at the, the space the where it is now. Right. Yes, right? Um, so the, the walk will allow us to, to move to the different spaces where the library was housed during the, the years. Okay, so we will begin the walk at the PRDI main building. That's uptown, right? That's the first stop. And then, you know, we have a little, we have a, our introduction and a little speech about the area and the building and so on. And then we move along to the um, former general administrative building that's at Jenningham Street, right. where we do the same thing again. And then we come down at the second stop. The third stop now will be the Scarborough Library, where it is now. Right, and then because the the next stop will be Signal Hill, you know that's uh, following the earthquake. We will have now a run from there. Okay, so we have um, some staff members who have volunteered themselves to be a part of that run, and it's sort of like a a baton, a baton um, handing over mm -hmm. ceremony. So we have different legs of the run. So you'll see us on the morning um, handing over to, on different legs all the way up to Signal Hill and then all the way back down to um, the Scarborough Library where it is right now. And, um, you know, the different legs. And we also have a very able head of yes, the library who will license. bring it home from the, on the last leg, from the port, the Scarborough port, all the way to the library. You know? So we'll be behind her, pushing her and, and willing her along. And that's what I edit. love, you know, folks mm -hmm. talk about Nisha Dinoon. For as long <laughs> as I have known her, all things library, she makes it exciting yes. uh, for you at that level of commitment. Yes. So very good, leading the way. <laughs> leading the way, exactly. So that will be on Tuesday. So Wednesday now is where we have our Thanksgiving service. And this will be a combined um, celebration with the Division of Education, um, Research and Technology. So we're having that Thanksgiving service at the Shore Park Complex, and that will begin at 9 a.m. So... We um, have representatives from the library who will be doing different um, things on the day, um, along with the persons from the Division of Education, right? So it's a combined effort where we come together to give thanks and give praise, right? Um, Thursday now will be the ending of the Biggest Loser Challenge. And I say ending because we have already begun that journey. Um, the Biggest Loser Challenge is an event where we allow persons to see how much weight they can lose within a certain time, and that would be a month, right? So we began that um, on the 27th of March, where persons journey to Roxborough to weigh in and so on and get their weight and then start to undertake, you know, the challenge in terms of trying to lose um, as much weight as possible to win some beautiful, attractive prizes, Julian, right? Yes. So on Thursday, we will all go back to, to Roxborough to, to um, you know, do the final weigh in and see who um, comes out victorious in that, in that challenge and who will walk home with the different prizes, the beautiful prizes, you know, that we have to offer. So that's on Thursday. Right, on Friday, you know, and everything, we cannot leave out our wonderful staff who, who is the engine room, you know, in making things happen. So on Friday, Friday 28th, we head to the Buku Integrated Facility where we will have a staff funding. Nice. Right, so start from the Scarborough Library, the Roxborough Library, and the Charleville Library, we all come together, right, to have a, a day of fun games, you know, to, to encourage camaraderie around staff, you know, because sometimes on a daily basis, we, we are only around persons who we are around, you know, and we need to try to integrate and, and come together. And so that will be a, a wonderful way of doing that. We have four teams that we are already split up into, and, you know, myself and Mr. Nuno on the on the red team, you know, mm -hmm. and you know we're gonna we're gonna be taking it home, 
Yes, but let me not brag. You know, everybody's going to come together and try and, and win, you know, to win bragging rights at the end of the day but you know we're taking it already so to <laughs> the other three teams you know just look out for us we will be there we're taking it but you know it's a love still right um saturday now we have two events we are focusing on the children with a children's fun day that will take place at the scarborough library from 9 a.m and it's located to children ages 4 to 12 right so they could come out they're having fun face painting bounty castle storytelling on that day and you know just for the children to enjoy themselves as they are a big part of the library and we want to celebrate them. And at that, on that same day, we will be taking our senior citizens on a road trip to Charlottesville, right? You know, to get them out in the house and have a good time. You know, Charlottesville is one of the best villages in Tobago, I have to say that, right? Um, and we, we are going to have a day out with them. They're going to be entertained by the Charlottesville Heritage Performers and just have a wonderful day in the scenic, picturesque village of Charlottesville. And that's the, you know, closing up our I, I week of activity. And I've heard a full light up mm -hmm. there, um, catering to our children, catering to our seniors, and yes. the wide cross-section in terms of Tobago. Uh, just for the benefit of our viewers um, tuned in, which activities are open to the general the public general and how public. do persons make contact um, in order to participate? Right, so the um, general public is, we could, can take part in the open mic night um, event that's on the 24th, that's kicking off the, the week on of Monday, activities right. on Monday. Registration, um, you visit our Facebook page, there's the flyer and you'll see the link below just to click and register um, with us, right? Registration is still open and you can um, register. And the, the next event for the public, um, well, it's the biggest is a challenge, but that, uh, that has already begun, right. right? So persons from the public are in that but registration would have, you know, closed off for that. And also the children's fun days for the public also, um, also that registration has closed off. We had an overwhelming response, over 70 persons, you know, coming in and so on. And that's, well, that's for the public, but it is also closed off. But the only thing right now that is open is the open mic night. So we're encouraging persons to still come out and register and let's have a great evening. Excellent. So you have an opportunity on Monday the 24th. What time does it get started? At 6 p.m. At 6 p.m. Scarborough PM. Amphitheater. Yes, and you know it's a while you haven't heard about the Scarborough mm -hmm. Amphitheater. So it's a good opportunity to head on out. Um, you know, if you really might remember those days <laughs> on the mall area. Not me, I'm not, um, you know, I'm not young enough to remember it. But <laughs> so as we, as we get, uh, as we continue the conversation, uh, Nichelle here, tell us, this week are long celebrations, um, you know, the importance and the significance of it. And when you make the comparison with over the years and recognizing the, the, the need to celebrate the anniversary of uh, the Tobago Library Services. Certainly. And we'll be celebrating our anniversary, our 75th anniversary under the team Honoring the past, embracing the present, creating the future. And in honoring the past, we want to recognize the contribution of persons who would have worked with us in the past. Um, quite recently, we had two members of staff who passed away, in fact, three, and um, they would have made significant contribution to Tobago Library Services. So as we celebrate, we want to remember them, we want to honor them, we want to thank them for the contribution that they would have made, I guess, most humorously. Um, embracing the present, we want to look at where we are and to be appreciative of the fact that we are in a space that embraces all fields of knowledge and gives us the opportunity to grow. So I, I speak to the staff and I, I, I would normally tell them that use the opportunity you have now. You may not be in library services, you know, for the rest of your life, but you are here now and it presents a host of opportunities for you to learn and to grow and to serve your fellow men, right? So take the opportunity, embrace it. I, I also encourage them to look at trends in the field of, 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 of library studies, uh, library science in, in technology, because technology is really at the forefront of library and information services. And to think of where we want to be, where we want to go. And so in doing that, create the possibilities for us to continue to evolve and to continue to serve our patrons as their needs change over time because of technology. 
When you speak about education and studies, and that's a whole other conversation with the avenues that are available for study mm -hmm. uh, in terms of within the, the library sector. Very quickly before we wrap this morning, Kimberly, uh, any closing words? Yes. Um, in terms of the Thanksgiving, you know, it's our 75th anniversary, and that's a, a, a major feat to achieve, you know. Um, I just want to say, you know, I encourage everybody to, you know, come on this journey with us. 75th is nothing to be played with, you know. We, we've achieved so much over the years. And um, our library um, services are offered to all in Tobago. You know, if you haven't um, utilized them yet, come Scarborough, Roxborough, Shallowville. We are here for you. We are here to serve you. And as we look forward to our Thanksgiving um, celebrations, I just want to thank all of Tobago who have um, been on this journey with us and who continue to, to remain with us and support us. Excellent. And as we close this morning, Michelle De Noon, head of the Tobago Library Service, uh, tell us uh, your closing words. Right. So um, I, I want to say thanks to the staff of Tobago Library Services um, because persons don't understand really the kind of work that goes into managing libraries or making resources available for the public to come in and benefit from. Um, we have our technical services unit where the books are uh, they are purchased, they are processed, they are made available for the shelves and persons don't know what goes in there. And, and the staff and technical services, I want to recognize you this morning, those who work in the public spaces. And there are a lot of um, persons who work in the public spaces that have to interact with persons in the public who have mental health issues and it's very challenging for them. And so we have to bring in the people at the mental health unit to assist us in treating with that. I thank you for your continued support, your continued willingness to treat or to offer a service, even though you have those challenges. I want to continue to encourage you, those persons who work in the schools. Um, we have persons or staff in our nine secondary schools on the island. Sometimes they may feel alone because they're out there. But I just want to continue to encourage you and to thank you for the kind of service that you have been re rendering over the years. So I say big up to all Tobago Library Services staff, those who are looking on, those who maybe look at the interview later on. I want to thank you and I want to encourage you to continue to serve your people. And thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, dear viewers. Kimberly Joe, Public Relations and Marketing Assistant at the Tobago Library Services, and Nichelle Dinoon, Librarian for and Head of the Tobago Library Services, joining us here on set this morning. Thank you so much for connecting uh, with us here on the Tobago Updates Morning Show. And to those of you joining us via TV, those listening in on the radio, we want to thank you so much for continuing to choose us. And those of you online, remember that this is your opportunity to share the live, share the live, share the live.